happy morning it is thursday uh, mom has to day off so we're heading out with my cousin and i just wanted to give you a little update of reading since tuesday so i finished stronger faster and more beautiful um the audiobook and i'll have a review up on that and I, today i started i owe you one by sophie kinsella and um it seems like it's gonna be really cute. Um, most of her books are extremely cute anyway. For ebooks, I am reading The Dating Game and I am on 41%, and I believe that comes out this sometime this month, maybe the end of the month. And then for physical books, I'm reading The Silent Patient, slowly but surely. And I am on page 65. And again, that's like a book club pick. So I don't know, that might be them saying that they're here. Let's see. Let's see, let's see. Oh, no, they're just leaving the gas station down the street. Okay, so yeah, um, I don't know what I'm going to do today. Uh, I have an eye doctor's appointment on Monday, but they said that if there was any cancellations today, they would call me. So I'm like really hoping that that happens because my headaches have been horrific. Um, other than that, uh, we planned a vacation um our, our next cruise and i'm thinking maybe of going to barnes noble and getting some books on the place that we're going because we've never been there before and we want to maybe see what to do there other than that we don't really have any other plans so let's see oh starbucks obviously and we're bringing our computers so hopefully i got like a review done that would be great and i will let you know what happened what, what's going on today <laughs> there's a pouch for cream cheese in this bag has there always been a pouch for cream cheese in this bag and we just never noticed or is this something new hmm. happy morning it's monday i Ooh, it's sunny out. I have an eye doctor's appointment today. I am extremely anxious. Like, I woke up whew, barely. <laughs> um, so, bear with me for the moment while I try. Oh my gosh, the sun. So, like, we have blinds, and sometimes ugh, the sun is just like in the way. But bear with me while I let you guys know. What I've read, hold on, I'll put you up here because like, I literally can't even hold you because I'm kind of like shaking, but that's okay. Okay, so for audiobooks, I'm listening to I Owe You One by Sophie Kinsella. I think I'm still on like part one. I'm not far at all. Uh, for physical books, I'm actually reading two. I am reading The Silent Patient for a book club with like my family, and I'm on page 145. And then I am reading Daughter of Smoking Bone for the Daughter of Smoking Bone read-along hosted by a bunch of wonderful people. The main person that I joined is because Chloe is doing it. And, like, I tabbed out. Um, I don't... Hmm. Tab. I don't know if I told you guys, but I tabbed it out so that I could read it in two weeks. But I just started at the... I just started... Okay, so. See what happens when I'm anxious. Like, I talk a mile a minute. <clears throat> We're going to slow down. I've read this book twice, so this is my third reread of it, um, but I've only read the series once, so this is a series read-along, and I started this, I believe, on Friday, maybe Friday, and I've already read, like, six days worth of pages, so I'm on page 188 right now, um, if you do it if you do it if you want to read the whole book in two weeks it's like 30 pages a day so that's what i'm aiming for but i'm gonna have it done for then i'm like remembering how much i absolutely love this series and i'm so oh just like all the feelings are coming back mm, i love it and then for ebooks i am reading the dating game um which i think i've said multiple times comes out the end of I need to sit down the end of this month, maybe the 26th, I believe. I could be completely wrong. I am on, I read some last night, I'm on 58%. So I don't think I told you what this guy, this one's about. So this is told from three different perspectives. They're all in college. One's a super rich kid, one's like a super smart 
like person and the other one's like um like just like a normal not not that those aren't normal um one that's more like relatable to, to me anyway and he's mexican it comes from like a mexican family and it's really cool to read about that stuff because um i have a little, i'm part mexican but i never grew up like that's on my dad's side so i never grew up with any of that like culture and stuff so it's pretty interesting to read his little tidbits with his family but these three students find themselves in the same class and they it's like um an on, is it an entrepreneurship class kind of, it's kind of like that you had to come with like come up with um like a business plan or whatever so they decided to make a dating app and on this dating app you are rated so the more like people that rate you or whatever the higher you get so there's like bronze gold and no silver gold and platinum i don't know whatever so there's like three different tiers or whatever and yeah it's like pretty interesting there um of course the kid who has rich parents has like many contacts and so far it's like completely blowing up and it's pretty interesting to see the dynamics change between the three of them and like their differences are coming like the differences in the way they grew up are really coming out more and i don't know i like all of the characters at first like the one that was rich kind of rubbed me the wrong way but then he's like really not so bad for now i'm only 58 of 58 percent of the way through so i don't know he could get really annoying again but yeah that book's really it's really cute it's absolutely adorable and like i'm enjoying it a lot but yeah i just rambled for five minutes so i'll probably cut out a lot of it and i will see you guys at some point today see ya mom tried to open her coffee i think she broke it <laughs> i just got coffee dunkin donuts today when i go to dunkin donuts i get a cold brew with a little bit of almond milk and sports and i got a bagel but i ate it and now i have to go pick up glasses i got like one hour glasses at lenscraft is it only took 20 minutes it's only 12 18 oh wow good morning it is tuesday and i made it through yesterday i went to the eye doctors obviously my eyes got worse i went they didn't have contacts in the prescription that i needed and my headaches were just so bad i decided to go to um lens crafters and just get like one day glasses made which of these they're really cute and they're purple but i don't know if you can even tell in this clip um and then like i ordered um other glasses from like the place that i get my eyes checked but those take like 10 to 14 days and it was just like a mess but whatever so my headaches are already subsiding which is amazing like i knew that was the problem i knew it was but let's give you an update i think i said today was tuesday yeah. well it's tuesday let's give you an update on what i read i didn't really read much yesterday so it's not going to be that great just like spoiler alert for audiobooks i am on now <laughs> i've been listening this morning to um i owe you one by sophie kinsella and i'm on part two of ten so i made a little progress in that for the silent patient i didn't read anything yesterday of this so i'm on, still on page 145 for daughter of smoking smoke and bone i read a couple of pages so i'm on page 193 so making some progress in that and then for the dating game which i gave you guys like probably like the worst synopsis ever yesterday because i was an anxious mess and was like just i couldn't stop talking um i'm on 61 percent yesterday i just want to show you guys because it's book related i um for book bookishfirst.com if you get so many points you can um claim like claim a book to be sent to review and i ended up claiming redemption point by candace fox uh, for the simple fact that it was blurbed by um, his her first book was blurbed by James Patterson, so I was like, yes, um, 
I'm in. I absolutely love James Patterson. Oh, yeah, see, Crimson Lake was her first book, which I was also sent, which is awesome. So I got sent both of these from Bookish First dot com and it looks like forge publishing yeah i didn't get a little letter like i normally do so according to like the first look of redemption point that this is the newest this is her newer one i'm just gonna read you the little insides so that you can know what it's about because i am awful at giving a little synopsis -ses. i should actually tell you guys what her first book was about um, I haven't read this one yet either, so that's super exciting. It says, accused but not convicted. Oh, okay, so, so this is like a series. Hmm, good to know. I'm going to read this one first. Accused but not convicted of a brutal abduction, Sydney detective Ted Kafke is now a free man and public enemy number one. Maintaining his innocence, he flees north to keep a low profile amid the steamy, crock-infested wetlands of Crimson Lake, there, Ted's lawyer introduces him to a centric private investigator, Amanda Farrell, herself a convicted murderer. Not entirely convinced Amanda is a cold-blooded killer, Ted agrees to help her with an investigation, a case full of deception and obsession, while secretly digging into her troubled past. The residents of Crimson Lake are watching the pair's every move, and the town offers no place to hide. I kind of feel like these could be standalone books. So, um... Yeah, I'm probably just going to cut out the synopsis of Redemption Redemption Point. Okay. And then yesterday, after all that eye doctor stuff, went to BJ's and I was like, oh, let me just like look at the books. And as you guys know, I recently read Crazy Rich Asians, <clears throat> which I actually got at BJ's. And I read Beer Town, which came in from the library, which was awesome. When I went to BJ yesterday, the second Beer Town book, um, Us Against You by Fred Frederick Kaufman, right here, was like just sitting right at the top of like a pile of books. And I was like, oh my gosh, that's so funny. Like this is the second book and I wanted to read it because I absolutely love his writing. So I was like, oh, I'm gonna get that. And then right next to it was China Rich Girlfriend uh, by Kevin Kwan, which is the second one in the Crazy Rich Asian Trilogy. Yeah, I guess. And then the third one is Rich People Problems, which I was going to get to, but I was like, mm, I'm just going to get the second one. If you couldn't tell, I'm so a little bit off today. So, moral of the story is I picked up the second book in the Beer Town, like... I, I don't know if it's a duology or whatnot. And the second book in the Crazy Rich Asian series. So, yes. That's my reading update, and I will talk to you guys 